Welcome guys to another episode of Boom Arena. Today we are gonna be playing with a Super Ape Mortar Psycho, which is probably my favorite deck for laddering as for now since the general is pretty much unplayable due to all the ongoing bridge spam. So we're gonna be playing uh, this deck very, I would say, actually popular because recently many people started to pick up like uh, the decks of top players that's why the fucking bird spam is pretty much the most popular deck because like people see the number one on leaderboards using viking bird spam they just copy they don't think i mean they may have thought about it but it looks like like many people uh, are just mindlessly copying the decks and for me and for many other people it's fine because if you if you just copy the deck and don't understand it um, more, like more deep intricacies you're very likely not to succeed with it so but that's why I kind of meet uh, many Viking bird spawn players that actually don't know what they're doing uh, and those are like very free wins so I'm not gonna complain about that I'm gonna just cherish the moment that actually Super Ape is kinda bugged because the deck I'm playing right now gets a very good job at countering the Viking Bridge Spam. So I'm gonna just go go with a very creative kite on the with the Super Ape. I'm gonna stop this thief. Very cool stuff and our opponent Yellow Chink will be in a lot of trouble because right now I don't know how he is defending this mortar. Obviously he can counterattack, that's absolutely the possibility, but he's not doing anything uh, as for now, so yeah. I figured that he was very low on mana and that's why I'm gonna just go for a uh, Super 8. I don't think it was the best play on my part, but at the same time it was the easiest part to convert the advantage and right now I have to kinda clutch this defense because this viking looks very scary it's gonna actually get oh i i was scared that it's gonna get three hits but it got only two hits and yeah this piercing archer was actually surprisingly uh, decent from him i'm gonna be playing uh, swordsman here to tank for all this spam obviously you want to defend your mortar but in this position there were just more uh, urgent things to uh, protect. I'm gonna play Super Ape here. I'm gonna play some Skeletons to protect my Gunner. Very basic stuff for this deck. I'm gonna play Rolling Steel to protect my Gunner as well. And that's gonna be pretty much a GG. The time ran out, we didn't get a 3 star, but it wasn't necessary because we still have one tower and he does not. I, actually, we have two towers and he has one, but. He doesn't have his right side tower and I didn't lose uh, either of mine, so that's gonna be GG and we are gonna go for the game number 2. And the next opponent we're gonna face is MLG Kevin 21 we're gonna see what Kevin... Uh, I wonder was it supposed to be Kevin? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna leave it as it is because I'm pretty sure that MLG part was correct uh, by me. I'm gonna play Mortar. On the opposite side, unfortunately it's gonna target the Bomberman, eh, sometimes happens. Also I missed one stone phone, oh that was a bad, bad atrocious micro. I wanted this mortar to actually get onto the tower but uh, yeah, I, I was kind of forced to play a rolling steel on defense and that's why I couldn't uh, defend the mortar properly. So with, that, with this suboptimal start we're gonna just be facing a, it looks like player without like a very concrete plan we're gonna be playing like this for now getting our getting our uh, troops ready this this gunner actually will die because it oh my okay so what happened just here uh, I was I was thinking that the gunner uh, will uh, will target uh, uh, the Dark Knight, but the uh, Ant kill it after he jumped, but uh, in this game every stun like uh, resets the troops, so after Dark Knight jump it kinda reset the gunner onto the ape that was still alive, and that's why the uh, gunner didn't finish the Dark Knight uh, before he finished off her. So another unfortunate interaction, but I'm not gonna complain because I'm still confident that this game is absolutely winnable even though he plays a dark knight on one mortal which 
absolutely is the best play in this position. No questions asked. Right now I'm gonna just try to survive this position because he played a very well timed fifth and it was uh, up to me to play a very clutch swordsman here combined with far tiny. We're gonna just play the game from here. We're gonna try to get a kill on this ghost because ghost is one of the most annoying cards in the game. That's that's an objective truth. It doesn't. It isn't up to discussion. Ghost is just annoying. I'm gonna play Mortar here, force his Dark Knight. At least it won't jump. Okay, it, it will try to jump. But will it succeed? That's the question for another day. So, his Dark Knight will get uh, put a nice work of my Swordsman, but it doesn't matter because this Swordsman was meant to protect Mortar and Mortar doing absolutely fabulous work here. We're gonna play another Swordsman to protect the Gunner. Like you see, this deck is pretty repetitive uh, in case of like uh, making a defensive plans, you just play Gunner and play every single other card to just protect her because if Gunner stays alive she's gonna deal a lot of damage so you might as well protect her, you don't want to her to die too early and if you do it properly she may even counter push for you, very nice card indeed and yeah. With that nice defense out of the way, let's jump to game number 3. And in this game, we're gonna meet a Clash Mater... M master, sorry, I, I didn't read that correctly. Let him be remembered in the history of history as Clash Master. I actually didn't want to call him Clash Mater, but... Ah, mistakes have been made. Everyone has the law to do them. He's gonna be Clash Master 887 and he doesn't look like a master to me because he's dropping a tower very early on and I'm gonna absolutely get every single of these phones. It would be kind from him to resign early but I also expect him to play on still because honestly why not. I would have stayed as well but for different reasons. I would have stayed because I actually would try to come back. We'll see if he's trying to come back or will he just prolong the game because so far he's just throwing cards at the bridge in hope that he's gonna get any damage. I don't think that's gonna ever work out. I could have actually even ignored this phone keg, but just out of the respect to our Clash Master, we're gonna allow it uh, to be rolling still because in, in another scenario I would love to like save rolling still for the attack so I can pretty much guarantee damage with my super ape and I didn't even have to do that I'm just playing super ape with far tiny and it works as well I'm gonna go with mortar counter the bone blasters and get some damage in retaliation and finally after two minutes of play we've got the resignation and it's just a matter of time I'm gonna three star this guy I'm not gonna bother you guys with it let's jump to game number four and right now we're gonna be up against we do this G whatever doesn't mean I assume it's kind of a slang terminology because because G for whatever reason I don't know big G top G something like that uh, either way we're gonna be playing against him and he is having a late camp against my mortar so I'm gonna get a very comfy lock uh, to start this uh, game absolutely love to see it he's going to be playing also a phone keg that's something that you can expect from a very early uh, bomb girl for some reason my fire time is just late i'm not gonna complain about it though because i still have a fabulous start because this super ape will get i think even three hits maybe four if i get lucky there's the fourth and that's gonna be the end of it so yeah four hits Absolutely not too shabby. We're gonna be playing this time a rolling steel because it may turn out that actually my uh, ping will be kind of suboptimal. I'm gonna play actually uh, mortar against these two bomb girls. He's gonna play can, which is very interesting idea. He is trying to deny my mortar from uh, ever connecting to the tower, and at the same time I can just play a super ape on the opposite side and deal even more damage. Very cool to see. 
All right, uh, jokes aside, we're in a very cool spot right now, having a damage lead on pretty much both sides. And if he ever plays Bombger, I'm gonna be able just to play Rolling Steel and Mast in Pirate. It's a very fun language, so I'm using it. Why not? And for any phone cat, I'm gonna be playing just a Fire Tiny, who is a warm crewmate in Pirate. I'm gonna just be playing this one here because it's a good reinteraction. I'm gonna even have a, some mana for EQ. I cycled so fast that EQ came back to my rotation and absolutely it was a game changer. I'm gonna play Swordsman here. Very quick interaction here. I was kinda expecting this Bomber and fortunately my ping is kinda fixed because I don't think with this previous ping I would be able to pull off this kind of clutch. I'm gonna go for another Super Ape. We're gonna see what are we do this G player will come up with. Certainly must be some elaborate plan since... Okay, his elaborate plan is to resign. So yeah, I'm gonna just uh, play one more game uh, at the end of this video. So uh, to compensate for these two quick resignations. And yeah, let's jump to the game number five. And in our fifth game of the video, we're gonna be getting a Lord of Pain. So Lord of Pain is very uh, very consistent player in terms of playing Boom Arena. He was playing uh, a lot of games against me and many other Boom Arena players. So we're gonna get a game against him and he is gonna actually play other deck than he usually uh, is used to be playing. He's usually playing Dark Knight with some, I don't know, support cards, but this time he's playing Missile right away. I don't know, maybe just to scare me. Also, he's throwing Scallywag, which is basically translation uh, to Noob in Pirate. Will I be bothered by this? Probably not. I would love to see this Swordsman not getting lined up. Uh, maybe for one hit, it's not too shabby. Also, he's not gonna be having Cyclone for the defense, which is important. I'm gonna play Earthquake anyway, even though he's not playing Bomb Tower. This one will get a value against uh, Fall Heart, which is very crucial here. It's gonna be playing a Digger, this time in front, so certainly with some bad intentions, maybe Piercing Archer plus Cyclone. I'm absolutely prepared for that. This time, sir, you're not doing anything special. Also, he's trying to. Oh my god. He's even calling me lucky, which is Scorch in Pirate. And yeah, that, that's gonna be another early resignation, but I'm not gonna make up for this one because it was content. Lord of Pain with a uh, very high skill cap deck, Remy Ali deck, losing very early. It has to be nice. And yeah, I'm not I'm not gonna even cut. Let this guy get 3 start on this video because why not? It's my content anyway. And with that being said, we're gonna jump to the game number 6 of today's video. And our last opponent of today's video will be Awesome Dude 43. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's the reference to this Minecraft YouTuber, but uh, either way, he's going to play Machine Gun, which is uh, a deck that, unfortunately for him, will be good in the meta because it counters Viking Bridge spam and stuff. But it's not definitely, it's definitely not gonna be again good against our deck. I don't know. My English is kinda breaking right now yeah but anyway we're gonna be playing against machine gun with some questionable support cards i don't know whether it's good or not i mean i, I definitely know it's not good to support your machine gun with twins because these cards kind of fight for the uh, different aspects of the game so twins basically try to break through instantly and machine gun kind of wants to control the board so the, these cards, first of all, don't complement each other, and second of all, they are both win conditions. So, twins are not supposed to protect the uh, machine gun either way. The better choice is the explorer, who does basically the job of the twins, of distracting the troops in front of the machine gun. Uh, for cheaper. It's, uh, it's costing just uh, two mana less, so explorer would be a better option even uh, as a win condition, because uh, technically Explorer uh, targets only towers. It's not a win condition in my mind, but uh, I don't know, there are people who think that win condition is basically the troop that targets only uh, towers and 
With that definition on my on mind, I think the explorer is a win condition. So yeah, uh, it's pretty much up for your interpretation. I'm gonna just go for EQ because it's not up for interpretation. That must be a good move because my super aim gets a hit. There we go. And he already calls me up. Uh -oh. That's not good. That's not good. I'm not gonna say not good, but you, you have to know that. You have to know that the, there's something wrong when you're hard losing and your opponent absolutely spams you with noob. Like, eh, he, he isn't spamming though, so maybe it was mystic. Maybe he wanted to say good game, which is plunder jolly in pirate. I would have seen this message in any way. So yeah, that, that's gonna be the. And that's gonna be the end. Yeah, three star it is, and that's gonna be it for today's video. Super ape, mortar, cycle, three magic wards, absolutely fabulous deck in this meta. It pretty much doesn't have many weak matchups. I would say its weakest matchups are like uh, very heavy decks with like flying robot and uh, and brute. And usually the Mother Devil is very bad matchup, but uh, apart from this, I think this deck is very solid. Also, like uh, anything that contains Devils, pretty much has a good matchup against this particular Super Ape deck. Because even though if you have Devils, if your opponent can protect them, like behind a big tag, let's say Brute or uh, or Flying Robot, you'll have a hard time against this deck. There are tricks, but yeah. Those are like bad matchups. Obviously, good matchups are Viking, Cemetery, Steel Bait, every good stuff. Like, Super Ape has just a roll over them. So, yeah, that's gonna be it from me today. Uh, I'm gonna remind you once again that uh, if you aren't already, you may subscribe to my YouTube channel if you enjoy this content. I post it every day. So, if you are interested, you definitely don't want to miss on my future uploads. Also, I post shorts, so uh, you can check them out. Like, uh, drop a like, a comment, whatever, to support me uh, if you like. Uh, I would uh, greatly appreciate that. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe, and I'm gonna see you guys in the next episode of Marina.